This is example 2.6 on page 74 of our textbooks. And this is, is an example of using the mole concept to go between number of moles and number of atoms. So recall that a mole in terms of chemistry is the amount of particles um, contained in one mole, which happens to coincide with 6.00 times 10 to the 23 particles or atoms or molecules. So in this problem, they want us to calculate the number of copper atoms in 2.54 moles of copper. So the strategy for this, we're going to adopt the same strategy that we've been using for unit conversions. Got to figure out what we're given, which is our 2.45 moles of copper. And what we're trying to find is our copper atoms. And the equivalency, the um, conversion unit we're going to do use to do this is one mole contains or one mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, also known as Avogadro's number. So this number, this equivalency, is like saying one mole contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, or there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms in one mole. And which one we write on top or bottom depends on what we're trying to get to. So I'm looking for number of copper atoms, and I'm starting with 2.45 moles of copper. So just like for unit conversions, I'm going to have my railroad track. What I want to cancel, the unit I want to cancel, goes on the bottom. I'm using this equivalency, Avogadro's number, with the arrow right here. So on the bottom, I'm going to say one mole, and you can specify it's technically one mole of copper. And on the top is the number of atoms contained in one mole. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. If you want to specify, it is copper. So at this point, moles of copper cancel. And to solve this problem, we simply multiply 2.45 moles of copper times the 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Um, we can do our division on the bottom, but it's not going to change anything since the only number on the bottom is 1. So if we do this multiplication, you should get that there are 1.48 times 10 to the 24 copper atoms in 2.45 moles of copper. And that is your final answer.